In this video, we're going to evaluate this definite integral using u substitution. So whenever you're using u substitution, usually u is your inside function. So in this case, a good first attempt for u is the piece inside the square root. So we'll start by letting u equal to 3x plus 1. Then you always compute du as normal. So du is the derivative of u, so du. Here we compute this derivative. The derivative of x is 1, so we simply get 3dx. And the derivative of 1 is 0. Then when you get to this step, you're always supposed to make this look like this. So here we have 3dx and here we have 1dx. So we have to get rid of the 3. So to do that, we'll just divide both sides by 3. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So we end up with du over 3. Typically what we do in this point, at this point, is write it like this. 1 third du equals dx. Because in the next step, when we make the substitution, what we typically do is factor out the constants. Okay, so if this was an indefinite integral, like if they didn't have these numbers, we would just go ahead and make the substitution. However, this one has limits of integration. So whenever you make a u substitution and you have limits of integration, you have to change them. So these are x values, right? Because we're integrating with respect to x. We are converting to u, so we have to turn them into u values. So let's carefully, carefully do that. So when x is equal to 1, we're going to take the x and plug it in here, and that will give us the u. So u equals 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So there is our u. And then when x is 5, we end up with, let's see, x is 5, we get 3 times 5. So u equals 3 times 5 plus 1. So you get 15 plus 1, so we get 16. This is a super important technique. I once got stuck on a math problem for over a week because, this, because I didn't do this. This was the missing step, so it's so, so important. So when x is 1, u is 4. When x is 5, u is 16. All right, now we're going to make the substitution, and we're going to change everything. So let's see. Let's be careful. So the dx is 1 3rd du. So we can pull out that 1 3rd. So 1 3rd. Then we have the du. Then we have the 1 up top. On the bottom, we have the square root of u. And then our limits are now u values. Let's see. When x is 1, u is equal to 4. So this becomes a 4. And when x is 5, u is 16. So this becomes a 16. Really, really, really nice. Okay, so now we have to integrate it. So basically, um, this is 1 over u to the 1 half. So what you do is rewrite it uh, like this. 1 over u to the 1 half. I was going to skip a step, but I didn't. The step I was going to skip is I was going to bring it upstairs. So when you bring it upstairs, what happens is the exponent becomes negative. And so the reason you do that is because to integrate this, you want to use a formula, right? So you want to use the power rule. So now we can do that. So basically, you, you add 1 and divide by the result. So this is equal to 1 third u negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. So this is 1 half. And then we're dividing by 1 half. When you divide by 1 half, you really multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 over 1, so 2 over 1. And then we're going from 4 to 16, so from 4 to 16. Again, we add 1 to the negative 1 half, so we get 1 half, we divide by 1 half, but when you divide by 1 half, you really multiply by the reciprocal. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. This is 2 thirds, and I guess now we can plug in the numbers. So you plug in the 16. So you get 16 to the 1 half, you subtract, and then you plug in the 4. So you get 4 to the 1 half. So this is 2 thirds, it's working out quite nicely. 16 to the 1 half is the square root of 16. That's going to be 4. Right, 4, <laughs> yeah, 4 to 16 is 4. And 4 to the 1 half is the square root of 4, uh, which is 2. So you get 4 minus 2. It's a really bad place to get stuck. So this is 2 thirds. 4 minus 2 is 2. So we get times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we end up with 4 over 3. 
and that's it. So the key point is whenever you have a U substitution and you have limits of integration like this, you're supposed to change them. This is something that comes up in all calculus classes, so it's really, really important. Um, it's a really, really useful technique. It comes up in other math as well, like a lot. So yeah, that's it.